Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Josh Does Coding. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how you can get the player to look around slash rotate with the uh, mouse. <laughs> so we're going to be continuing off of my first tutorial, which was the basic character movement tutorial. If you haven't already seen that, be sure to check it out. The link will be in the description. However, this should work with however you set up your character movement. It really shouldn't matter if you followed a different tutorial for that. This should still work for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come into settings and then come down to project settings right below world settings. Just going to open that up and you're going to uh, come down to engine and you're going to come down to input. Now, like I said, this is from the basic movement tutorial. So what you're going to want to do now is add a new axis mapping. You can just click this little plus arrow here. And you should get a new axis mapping. We're going to call it turn. So for this game in particular, we're going to be using the mouse to move around. So we're going to go for mouse and we're going to go for the mouse X axis, I believe. So this is going to say when you move the mouse, pretty much it's going to get the um, the, the, the axis, the scale of the mouse, and it will move in that direction. So again, uh, we're, we're only going to do one on like this, because when moving, say you wanted to move forward, um, we're using it all in one map. So if you wanted to move forward, you had to press W, and if you wanted to use S, you do the opposite of what W is doing, pretty much. But with the mouse, you don't have to do that, because... If you're moving right, then it's going, your axis is going to know it's moving right and it's going to move right anyway. So you don't have to add the uh, negative one or turn left or anything. You can just do it all in one on like your movement. I hope that makes sense. Um, so we're just going to exit out of here now. And we're going to come on down to our player character. Open this up. So what you're going to want to do now is pretty simple. You're just going to um, call your uh, fun or your axis that you just made. So for us, we called it turn. And again, you're always going to want to go for the axis event, not the axis value. So we're just going to call in turn, and we're going to add. We're going to drag out from here, and we're going to do add controller yaw input then the value is going to be the axis value and the target is just going to be self um if you want for people who aren't aware i don't think i mentioned this last tutorial you are able to actually drag out and just get a reference to self um, if you wanted to it shouldn't matter uh, because by default it does it to self but I think that's just a little tip you can, uh, I'll throw in there just in case you weren't aware. So we're just going to compile, save, and we can minimize this now and go back to our scene. So now if you hop into the game and you move your mouse, you'll be able to be able to turn around, move, turn. And um, now say you turn whichever way you're turning, you will still move forward. So for example, W key is moving me forward now. I turn, W key still moves me forward. So the movement is now relative to the uh, rotation of the player. So you don't have to make any changes to the movements. So that was just a quick short tutorial for you all on how to get player rotation slash player looking set up for your character. If this tutorial did help you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to comment down below on how I can improve my tutorials for the future and if there's any specific tutorials you want to see. With that said, I hope you all have a good rest of your day.